enjoying it. I'm just enjoying it. Hey, everybody. So, yeah, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, LinkedIn. Hey, Facebook. If you are watching this, go ahead and share it on your page. Tell everybody the Business Plugs Mixer is on. And we're going to be talking about the myths about snowball hair, guys. Tonight, if you know somebody that wears weave, you know somebody that wears a wig, you know somebody that buys hair, you know somebody that does it for either themselves or their children or somebody else, then you're going to want to tune in. So go ahead and share this, share this, share this. We're going to be talking about business, but we're also going to be talking about hair products. Like working with this lady right here, I have learned so much about hair. Before I get to that, before I forget, let me tell you, on, on Wednesday, on Wednesday at 6 o'clock Eastern time, I'm doing a free seminar. It's called, let me see if I can remember because the memory is shot. But, but it's, <laughs> called, it's called, how it's about visioning strategy, right? So it's how to get your business positioned to succeed in 2021. So on Wednesday, and it's an Eventbrite, free Eventbrite webinar that you can attend to teach you how to get your business, how to get your business positioned to succeed in 2020. This is my gift to business owners. So if you're a small business owner and you want to know how to get your business on point, if you have a business idea, then you're going to want to be involved in this. Come join me on Wednesday at 6 o'clock p.m. And we're going to do that. But right now, right now, I am going to let my guest, Will, and welcome Denise Porter. And I'm going to let her tell you who she is. Hey, Denise. Hey. So I am Denise Porter, and I am the chief marketing strategist, I guess, for Christopher Anthony's Premium Raw Virgin Hair. Um, we're also on Etsy, where we're known as Christopher, or we're known as Chris Anthony's Raw Hair. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, so yeah, yeah. So tell us about tell us about about you first of all. Tell us about your background, because honey, you just you, you've been a lot of things. <laughs> so uh, tell us about you. Well, let's see. I am a former Marine. I guess you're never a former Marine. You're always a Marine. Um, and I currently work for the government. I'm a contractor. I work on their staffing websites. Um, I also work for Christopher Anthony, and I also have a um, handmade items kind of business where I make crocheted hats and dresses and skirts and baby stuff and all that. I have a shop on Etsy. That. I love that. Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned that because I don't I don't want us to skip over that part too. Like I told you, you're a lot of things. Yeah, <laughs> I want to make sure we get things. them all in. Absolutely, absolutely. I love that. Um, you have this very specific hat that people can buy out in public if they ever see it, uh, but you have to go to a concert to get it because of her customer. But I love that. But let's talk about let's talk about hair. All right. Yeah, let's talk about hair and what we're going to talk about when we're talking about hair. Because you can see, I probably need some weed, but <laughs> the shrinkage is real. Is I was, I was showing my friend yes. how long my hair is, and you can't even tell now. But yes. um, but people, some people choose to purchase hair, right? And and I see all the time. So I have I have five granddaughters. <laughs> I have mm -hmm. five granddaughters and I've bought hair for four of for three of them. For three of them I've bought hair before. And and you find out when people say things like um Brazilian hair or Remy mm -hmm. or you know the price varies and you know different waves and all this other stuff. So help bring us clarity about this hair situation. All right. So um, raw hair, which is what we sell, only comes from certain countries because mm. a raw hair is produced by a, uh, I don't want to, it's a ceremony really called tonsure. And it's where people go to temples and have all of their hair cut off. And the reason they do this is let's say your, your mom is sick right and so you go to the temple to get your hair taken because you hope that that will bring luck to your mom mm. right or maybe you're in a bad financial situation people do not get paid to donate their hair um you're in a bad financial situation or something and you're hoping that by the whole family going and donating their hair it's going to bring better luck to the family or better finances or whatever um mm. so people in brazil peru 
and all of those places do not donate their hair. There aren't enough people in Brazil and Peru to create all of this quote unquote Brazilian and Peruvian hair. <laughs> um, so what we did is last, last year, February, we went to India. We initially had planned to sell um, all this Brazilian and all this other stuff because we didn't know any better. We thought that was the quality hair because mm -hmm. you know the Chinese, the hair that comes from China, they do call it raw Indian and raw this and raw that, but it isn't really because we went to India and what we discovered is that um, you know they, they get the hair from the temples, they take out the parts that they think or bad, maybe gray hairs, or maybe the hair has dirt on it, or it's tangled or something like that. So women sit on the floor in front of these big basins, pulling all the hair out, and then they soak it in shampoo and all that stuff to clean it and condition it. And then they take all that hair that's gonna get swept up off the floor, or that they pulled out or all of that, and they put it into these big bags. So we went to several different vendors and we kept seeing these huge room, this room with these huge, um, like not garbage bags, but kind of like garbage bags. And we're like, so what do you guys do with that hair? And, and, and sometimes it would even have garbage in it. It would have like pieces of plastic and all this other stuff. They said, this is what we send to the Chinese, right? And so it goes to China and they um, clean it with sulfates or, whatever chemicals, I'm not gonna name the chemicals cause I'm not really sure, but they, they clean it with chemicals. And they have, if you ever see a Chinese hair factory, they have these huge metal vats. It's a factory, it is a factory in India. The, the hair factories are these little houses. It's like someone's house. It's like something you could do out of your basement, mm, right? Wow. Um, in China, they're, they're actual factories, you wow. know, huge buildings. So, the way that they create all of these things called Brazilian, Malaysian, Peruvian, Remy this, and, and it was actually a guy who came, a guy, I think his last name was Remy, and he's the one who named it Remy Hair. Anyway, that's a whole other story. Um, so they clean it with the chemicals and then they strip it. So they strip your hair of the outer shaft, right? Mm. Or the outer, I forget what it's called, my brain's not working, but they, they strip it of the follicles, the outer follicle, and then they um, process it. And mm -hmm. that is why um, when you get that kind of hair, it's so manageable. It just does everything you want it to for a while. <laughs> but then as you wash it, the chemicals that they've coated it with to make it so shiny and flowy and, and manageable, begin to um, wash away. And then, then wow. you've got to go get more hair because it'll start tangling. If they, if they, if you get it from a factory that does it well, then it'll last you a little while. If you get it from a factory that maybe does, maybe if you get the cheaper hair, like if you're buying the hair, in the, if you buy a bundle of hair for $30, you're going to get $30 worth of hair. It's going to mm -hmm. last month or two, right? And then mm -hmm. you're going to take that out and you're going to get more hair, but you don't have to do that. You can just buy raw hair and it'll last you anywhere from three to five years as long as you take care of it. <laughs> yeah, you know, see, I, mean, I mean, working with you in this and understanding about the different types of hair, like I'm so glad you came on because, you know, I hear, like I said, I don't wear it myself, but I hear, you know, I have granddaughters, but I also hear other women talk about, well, you know, the Remy hair, the this hair, the, you know, um, the Brazilian hair, you know, got to get this, got to get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, the girls know the hair or, or yeah, up yeah. until I met you, I thought they knew the hair. <laughs> <laughs> but then, but then you talk about, because I actually did some research and found out like the hair that's coming out of China is actually called comb waste. So it's not even really. Some of it is. It's Some of it. Yeah, yeah. It's what they've Some of it is comb waste. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. my gosh. Women actually, in some countries where people are quite poor, women will actually um, save the hair from their combs. Um, and, you know, people will come around and buy that hair from them. So, so some hair is comb waste. Yes. Wow. Um, yeah. And, and we but, think, you know, but, but we don't know any better, right? Because we believe yeah. what the label says. If it says on the packaging that it's Brazilian hair, we believe we're buying Brazilian hair. And so, so what have the, the way that Brazilian and all those names came about is because the Chinese needed a way, and I don't even want to say the Chinese because that makes it sound like I'm picking on them, but hair that comes from, I'm going to say hair that comes from China. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. They, 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 they were producing so much of it that they had to figure out a way to get you to buy it, right? Here in America. Yeah, yeah. So, that's, yeah, that's, that's business 101, yeah. So, so what they did was was to give it names: Brazilian, Water Wave, um, you know, Peruvian. I can't even think of all the names because we don't use them. Right. <laughs> but yeah, they had to they had to just come up with all these. They had to come up with names, and just, just like with any brand, you know, Calvin Klein, all those guys, they have names for things, right? Right. So right. They came up with these names so that it would um, seem so that it would be more appealing. And so the people would talk about stuff. I listen to, you know, some of the beauty people in Clubhouse and places like that, and they'll talk about, well, I get my Brazilian from here or there. And I, and I don't want to jump in and say, you know, there's no such thing, right? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? We've been duped. <laughs> We've been yes, duped. Yes. Oh my goodness. And, and and I can imagine that women who wear weave, like they're sitting there like, what? <laughs> you know, because well, yeah, go and ahead. It, it goes to it goes not not everyone has reactions. I mean, think about it. And and I always say this and no one listens to me, but you know, we we are all so health conscious, right? Mm -hmm. We worry about sustainability and we worry about the clothes we wear and plastic waste and, you know, going plant based and all these other things. And yet these same people will continue to put hair that is chemically treated into their head. Right? Not I mean, how does that even make sense that you're that that you're you're so conscientious about your health, but yet you're wearing hair that's basically soaked in toxins? I'll, I'll tell you a story, kind of to go with that. We um, sent some hair to a woman. Uh, she bought the, a customer. She bought the hair, and she soaked it in apple cider vinegar and ruined it. Right. And the reason she soaked it in apple cider vinegar is because she knew that there are toxins in hair. There aren't any in ours because our hair is natural. Um, but she soaked it in the apple cider vinegar, ruined the hair, and had to get some more. And she said, I thought I had to because that's what I always do with my hair. Why would you buy something that you have to soak in, in chemicals? In, in anything. Chemicals <laughs> the, I thought the, yeah, because the whole, the whole premise is that you don't have to fuss with your hair. Like, yeah. I thought that was one of the reasons why people bought that. But also, so I had to go put my lashes on because you all do lashes too. We do lashes, yeah. Yeah, so, you do lashes too. So I, I I brought my little kit that I've been using. Oh, cool. Got my little kit. Let me look, let me put it up right. Got my <laughs> got my little kit from you. Cause because I was surprised that this you all provide 10 different types of lashes. Mm -hmm. In one kit with two of the um the the, the metal liner, the magnetic liner, yeah, the magnetic liner, and 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 the tweezers that go with it, and it's really really cute. I love 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 that you all create this. And honey, I got I got uh liner everywhere. I love <laughs> love love. <laughs> That's just me me and my sloppiness. It has nothing to do with your product. It's just me <laughs> sloppiness it's sloppiness. But I had I so this is the. This is the applicator for putting the um, liner on. This is your your liner, and then this is the tweezers that you all have. Yeah, and, and they're, they're real cute, and, and they all come in a little kit, and and you have ten, ten pairs of mm -hmm. lashes that are different sizes. So I put these on today, thinking you know I have to put I have to show the product because <laughs> because it allows you. You know I used to say, well why would why would women want? And I've heard other people say it too. Why, why are women wearing those fake lashes or why are they doing this and that? There's a whole empowerment that goes on when you put these lashes on. It gives, gives you a different look. You know, it's a um, different look. Yeah, to go with what you're saying, um, some people some people think, or a lot of people think, I don't know, but you'll, you will see people on, on the internet, interwebs, um, you'll see guys maybe, or even other girls saying to women, why do you wear weave? Why do you want to look like white people? Or, you know, or, or why can't you embrace your naturalness? But, you know, I'm wearing, I'm wearing a wig right now. And actually, that is funny story, funny. this is exactly how my hair looks too. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm 
However, however, I usually just wear my hair in, in two pigtails. So if I want to look good, if, you know, my husband and I are going out or whatever, this wig has a little band on the back. I just slide it over my head. Five minutes, put some lipstick on. Actually, you saw me earlier today and I looked totally <laughs> different. And then you saw me again. And, but I'm telling you, it took me two minutes to do this lipstick wig done <laughs> you know, wow. we, call, wow. we call that and then if you do the lashes we call that the five minutes to fabulous look where I, you can go from, you. you know looking like your age to looking like you know whatever anyway to get back <laughs> to the whole thing of of um why it's okay to do weaves and it's okay to do wigs because why why can't we um wear our mood right, right? Why can't right. we do whatever we want? Why can't why can't I have blonde hair? Which I did used to have blonde hair when I was younger. <laughs> well, you know, with you know, people are out there doing blue hair and, and pink hair and all this other stuff. Why can't I, you know, slap on a blonde wig or or do, you know, get some hair and dye it and, and do a weave or whatever? Why can't I? It's my it's my head, you know. Right. And, it, and, and it's empowering, but head. that's that's the thing. Yeah. So I actually so one of our girls and we're we're in the TSP uh, mastermind together. And one of our girls, uh, Electra Davis, does mm -hmm. Mystique Naturals, which is the hair wax that changes your hair. Exactly, which like, I have used on this wig, actually. Okay, <laughs> I yeah. I don't have it on right now because I washed it out, but I did do it. I did a little bit of red in the front and I did, I don't know what I did. I just, I did like five colors on one wig. <laughs> yeah, but I, I did the blue and I did it because a lot of times we, we, are uh, people who who say, "Well, why are they doing that?" or "Why is that necessary?" Haven't tried it. Exactly. Like, yeah. Wear your hair blue is so empowering. Because what can people say to you? Like, I have blue hair. <laughs> I mean, that was so empowering. So, I, shout out to uh, Electra Davis, and you can change your hair like three or four times in the same day with yep. her product. So, shout out to Mystique Naturals. That's M Y S T E E K Naturals dot com if you want to check that out but then tell them how can they learn more about christopher anthony's premium raw virgin hair uh they can visit us uh, um at our website christopher anthony's premium raw virgin hair.com and can i tell the name about it can i tell the story about our name yeah 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 please um, do so people always say why is your name so long and the reason our name is so long is my sister Petra started this business and she had one child. His name was Christopher Anthony. And back in 2016 on Mother's Day at 2 a.m., he had a car accident and unfortunately he died um, in that accident. And then a few days later before his funeral, I had a dream. He and I were sitting on a park bench or something talking and he said, you know, you guys are gonna forget about me. And I said, what makes you think that? He said, because people forget. And so our our mission in life ever since then has been to remember him, <laughs> you know. Uh -huh. um, my house is a shrine <laughs> to, you know, just pictures of him and the family everywhere. Yeah. Um, and what a, so- what a great way to remember him. I love that, that you mm -hmm. memorialized him. I love that. So he's and not so, forgotten. He, exactly. He's known around time. the world. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And so every time someone says, what kind of hair is that you have? And the other person says, it's Christopher Anthony's. <laughs> right? Mission exactly. accomplished. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So he's never forgotten. I exactly. love that. What a warm story. Yeah. So, so, so when you talk about, you and I have been working on a project too. Mm -hmm. I talked about women who, who, who have illnesses that causes their hair to be removed. So you all, or do some consultations and helping women on that perspective too, don't you? Yes, we're in, um, well, okay, so my family, we have alopecia. And um, my sister has a really bad, she has no hair on the top of her head. My mom's hair is like really, really, really thin where you could see her scalp. Um, and so one of the things that, that we plan to do later this year is um, the Evadne project? That's my mom's name, <laughs> um, and and what that'll do is we're going to donate a wig, well, a wig to two recipients each quarter, and um, you know work with them, and maybe even toppers because some women um, prefer they have hair around, but they have no hair on the top of their head, so they wear mm -hmm. top. Um, mm -hmm. 
So our goal is, is to, you know, help some of those women, especially the ones who can't afford it because uh, my sister has spent a fortune um, on, on hers, you know, with the men's hair club and a few other things. You know, she went to a, a she went to a, a hairdresser recently and they were going to sell her a topper for $1,200, 1200 which did not include installation. Wow. It didn't include installation or customization or any of that. So there's there are people out here who are making money. I'm just saying this and it's probably bad, but they're making money off of someone else's misery a little bit. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah. Um, and so we want to... We want to alleviate that a little bit and we want to, you know, help some people out who, who can't help themselves. Yeah. I, I love that you all have that project coming up. I mean, I look for it's going to change lives because, you know, you think about a, a lot of people like for me, you know, I cut my hair down to the root most times. By now it would already be gone because I'm not a hair person. But for people, some people, that's their image. I mean, that's who they are. Mm -hmm. And, you know, mm -hmm. and, and, and you hear guys say a lot, you know, woman's hair is her crown. And so you, exactly. you know, there's a lot of stigma that goes along with having hair. And and so people that um, that that are seeking solutions to not having hair, say because of illnesses or because of some disease or something that's happened in their lives, you all offer an alternative to that. And not only do you offer an al alternative, you also do education. We to do. help them define what's right for them. Yep. Yeah. So I, I, I applaud you guys. I'm so glad you all said yes. So let me say thank you for coming on and, and saying yes to sharing this information with my audience. Like a lot of people buy, that's, that's like a, a billion dollar industry or more, it right? Is, it is. You know, one of our goals is um, in this in this era of, of uh, more awareness of Blacks and more more awareness of of black people trying to create that generational wealth and and build their own businesses and all that kind of stuff we really 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 need to um look at who we're giving our money to right mm. and, and 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 are they doing anything for us right mm -hmm. <laughs> you know but i can i can actually speak to that we we've had a huge beauty supply come to town and we have three uh, previous vendors who were here and two of them are African-American. And, you know, because this company supposedly buys in bulk, mm -hmm. their prices can be cheaper. Yes. And that becomes very competitive for those in that industry. And they're all located on the same little strip. Oh no. Yeah. That's so it's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I hope, I hope it doesn't. I hope that we, we stay loyal and, and help support the businesses that support us. Like, because the, the, it's one thing to have this big business come to town, but we have some businesses that come to town and take money and, and don't give anything back. Exactly. And that's the thing, you know, you want to make sure that you're supporting small businesses that have a social responsibility arm that gives back to the community. So it's, it's, it's a partnership and not just them predator, you know, being preyed on preying on the community, being predators, because we want to make certain that the money is going back into the community. I, One thing I, I've read that, you know, in the black community, our money only stays in our in our community 30 minutes. I believe that. Where others, that. you know, stay in their communities for days. Yeah. And so we have to do something about that. We have to address it and, and try to, to recycle the money supporting each other in our communities to build our communities up, especially small businesses, because right now small businesses need help. And that's one thing we're doing, uh, my partner and I, on Saturday, next Saturday, we, we tried to do it yesterday and it kind of rained, but next Saturday, rain or shine, we are hosting an outdoor expo for businesses, for small businesses that want to come and sell their wares because we want to support businesses like that's how we're all going to get through it is we have to everybody support everybody you know small businesses help us because it stays in the community you know they talk about when you when you go to franchises you don't know where that money goes but when you're when you're paying money in a small business you're actually helping them take care of their families locally 
And so, and, and to- you're contributing. You're contributing to building that. Um, let's say I have a small business in the community, and it, and it's successful. Now I'm able to hire people in the community to work for me. Absolutely, right? absolutely. You know, so yeah. and and that, and that can continue. Where, whereas a franchise or a larger business, or I wouldn't say who, but these other people, you know, they'll come and they will they will not hire any of you. <laughs> right. Support anything you so, support. Mm-hmm. You know, not you know, even even if that's like a soccer league for the kids, or something for the veterans, or something for the elderly. You know, helping people get off drugs or something. Our society has so many issues that need to be addressed, and the way to address that small businesses should. Have, you know, I was talking the other day. I did a grant class, and I was telling them. You know, I had twenty six, uh, thirty. Uh, black businesses, I said, you, we need to have a social arm in our business. Like it cannot be about just making a sale. It has to be that we're pouring back into our communities that we're helping to pull other people up. You know, you do the whole lift while you climb so you can bring other people up with you. So it's it's all about that. And it's all about, about partnerships and collaborations and joint ventures and all those ways we can work together to make our communities better. But I thank you so much for for, thank you for the time. opportunity. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, I, when I learned, you know, seeing that picture where they had all that hair laid out there in the dirt, and then listening to, you know, what they say about about uh, the, the hair that came out of China, like nobody knew that. Nobody knew that that was the the bottom of the barrel. Yet we're playing we're paying top prices because it's Remy, because it's you know this or it's that or it's whatever. Because it feels it, that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They have us all. They have us all do. We we're gonna do better though. As we learn better, we do better. And so we're gonna do better, and we're gonna check and make sure that we're supporting Christopher Anthony's premium raw virgin hair. I got it. I said yeah. it. <laughs> you did. You did. But yeah, we're going to, and I'm going to put the link to, to your website here. And also they can, is Christopher Anthony on Etsy? It's Chris Anthony's Raw Hair on Etsy. Okay. And also um, you can just, you know, come follow us on Instagram. It's CA Virgin Hair, which is so much shorter. <laughs> um. And uh, can I plug my sale or no? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Please do. Uh, this week is my nephew's birthday. And even though he's no longer with us, we celebrate his birthday every year. And this year we're gonna celebrate it with our customers and we're um, having a sale and it will start on Tuesday. And all you have to do is when you place your order, just use code anniversary and you'll save 33% off of whatever you buy. You oh, could buy another box of lashes, Linda, since you keep using up all your eyeliner. <laughs> girl, 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 me and these lashes right here. I, I, You know what? I was looking at the kit and I actually have two pairs somewhere. <laughs> so I- so I maybe need to, I probably do need to reorder, but I, I want to give a gift. I have a, uh, my goddaughter, she does makeup and stuff. So I'm going to send her some, oh, cool. get her somebody on sale. That'd be a good thing for her. She'd love that. So yeah. So, but thank you. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by the business plugs mixer and telling us about these hair thing. This is it. This hair situation is serious because people are spending their money thinking they're getting one thing. And now you're telling us, oh no, we're getting something else. So yeah, we you know, to- I, I had a I had a very strange thought the other night. You know, I, I had a I have a friend, and I'll talk real fast, but then we're almost done. Oh no, you're who, fine. Who passed away from cancer last year, last year or the year before, and she wore a lot of weave, and I almost wonder if you know the hair led to her cancer diagnosis. Wow. I mean, you know, I, finding, I just you know wonder. they're finding that you know they're finding they're finding that things like that is happening. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're finding, yeah, yeah. So, CA Virgin Hair is where? That's on Instagram. On oh, Instagram, and then Chris Anthony is where? On Etsy. Can I put it in the chat for you? Or I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Okay. I'm doing it right now. Yes, ma'am. Chris Anthony's it- raw hair. Okay. 
So yeah, so look at it, and the difference, go ahead and say the difference between how you all process hair versus how they're being processed from China. Uh, the hair, like for example, this wig that I'm wearing, um, mm -hmm. which is a raw Indian curly wig. The okay. only process that happened to this is they shampooed the hair and they conditioned it, they deep conditioned it. And then they may have steamed it a little bit to give it some of this curl and let it sit out in the sun. And that is the maximum amount of processing that will happen with any raw Indian or a raw Indonesian hair. Um, that's it. They wash it. They And then when we, before we send it out, we always wash and deep condition the hair also. Mm. That's as much yeah. processing as happens. Yeah. <laughs> because I've tried to wear weave, like I've had braids done and things. And I found that I was allergic to whatever they coat the hair with. Like it tears my scalp up mm -hmm. and I have hair loss because of that. So I can't, I mean, your, your brand is saying we basically condition it and, and put it out there for you. And my hair would probably do well, much better. I'm sure it wouldn't come out because those chemicals and a lot of people don't even realize that they coat that hair with different chemicals and that those chemicals may be harmful. I'm pretty sure they are. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I'm pretty sure yeah, that, I mean, you know, it's sitting on your head. Some of it is you're washing, you're doing all that. It's it's seeping in, right? You know, think of yeah. how much it itches when you were- You see people doing that. Yeah, you see people doing that yeah. all the time. And mm -hmm. that's just because their 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 scalp is, is, is processing whatever mm. those chemicals are on that hair. Yep. I, I wow. actually believe that. <laughs> wow, wow. But yeah, so I hope anyone who wears weave, anyone who buys wigs, I hope you'll you're, uh, pay attention to this and do the replay. Do hashtag replay. If you want me to put you in touch with Denise, we can do that. But I want you to understand about your health because a lot of things that we put in our head, we don't realize that, that yeah, it, it, it can sink in from your head too. And you see people all the time patting the head and, and, and scratching, you know, but it's because their scalp is, is re reacting to those chemicals that's in that hair. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. We're beating our brains out, trying to scratch the itch. And it's really mm -hmm. our body saying, hey, this is not right. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's that's something. Well, ma'am, I'm going to let you go. I do appreciate anything that uh, you have shared with us. Go ahead and leave a parting remark for our get for our our, 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 our viewers. Uh, let's see what my parting remark be. Uh, just to be careful of, um, you know, be aware of, of what you're eating, what you're wearing, and, and what you're putting on your head, because it does matter to your long-term health. It may not seem like it's a big deal now, but, you know, it, it, it matters. <laughs> wow. wow. Well, have a great evening, you all. Again, this is Linda Murray Bullock. They called me the business plug. And I just plugged you in to Christopher Anthony's premium raw virgin hair. And you can find them at that.com or you can see them on Instagram. I put that in the chat. Or you can see them at Chris Anthony's raw hair on Etsy. And you can also get Denise's product. How can they get to your products, Denise? I'm Nisi Lee on Etsy. Nisi Lee. So if you put that in the <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, how sweet. I love it. If you'll put that in the chat, then that'll be there too. But I'm going to put it, make sure that it's uploaded. This will be uploaded to YouTube and later it will be on my podcast for season five. I can't believe I'm in season five for season five. Wow. We want to make sure that people find out about what's going on with hair and how we can be healthier. If we're eating all these vegetables and less meat, and we definitely need to concentrate on what we're putting in our hair. So, yes. Yeah. So, thank you. We'll see you guys next week at 7 o'clock. Denise, please hold on for me. The rest of you, I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.